Here are some Java IDE improvements, including Git and general improvements of Eclipse 2003. Improvements that have been added since the last release in December 2019, three months ago. Java 14 support is not yet built in. Due to the Java 14 release date only one day before Eclipse 2003. Instead, the current preview of the Java 14 support can be installed via Eclipse Marketplace. There are many built-in features that have been added since the last release in December three months ago. The Eclipse IDE for Enterprise Java, formerly known as Java EE, comes with Eclipse Wild Web Developer, which provides state-of-the-art support for HTML, JavaScript, TypeScript, CSS and more. But let's start with the Java Editor improvements. We will look into what Eclipse Wild Web Developer offers later. Code completion feels much smarter now, with proposals being prioritized that match the declared type. Subtypes of the given type are placed at the top. That's the whole trick. This works after new, in a joined and in a split variable declaration. when getting a field or calling a method, as well when specifying a parameter in a method call. There is a new content assist option called show subword matches, which is disabled by default. In the preferences, Java, Editor, Content Assist, it can be enabled via the new checkbox Show Subword Matches. When enabled, identifiers made up of underscore or camel case separated words will be matched even when words are omitted or word endings are omitted. Apart from the Content Assist, the Eclipse Java compiler has been improved in terms of code analysis, the annotation-based null analysis and the resource leak analysis. Let's assume that annotation-based null analysis is switched on in the project preferences. Java compiler, errors warnings, null analysis via the checkbox enable annotation-based null analysis. Now you can specify, for example, a list of non-null values only. You will get an error when you add null or a value that might be null. This is how annotation-based null analysis works. The tricky part is when it comes to generics in combination with both annotated and unannotated code. If you get something from unannotated code, this might be null or non-null. That's pretty clear. But even if you pass a collection of non-null values to something unannotated, this might lead to a null pointer exception. This is because there is no guarantee that on the unannotated side null is added to the handed over collection. For exactly this case, a new check has been introduced called unsafe conversion of annotated parameterized type to less annotated type. The resource leak analysis, which in contrast is enabled by default, now works more accurately than before. In a fluent API, as in this example, the compiler now examines the methods and checks whether they return this. When this is returned, the compiler knows for sure that the left side and not another resource will be closed and no warning has to be displayed. Another thing is that if potential resource leak checking has been turned on, which is not the case by default, 
a potential resource leak will be reported in contrast to previous versions. To fix such resource leaks, the Surround With menu has been extended by Try With Resources block. Select the resource with or without where it is used, right-click and choose Surround With – Try With Resources block. There are also new quick fixes, Control 1. One quick fix is to wrap a statement as optional in one of three ways. Wrap with nullable optional, wrap with optional, change to empty optional. There are new quick fixes for missing and duplicate provides and uses javadoc tags in the module info file. Since these fixes are offered at javadoc warnings, the compiler must be configured to display these javadoc problems. Remove duplicate tag, remove all or one missing tag. There are new cleanup options too, which can be applied manually or via safe actions automatically. In the Unnecessary Code tab, Operate on Maps Directly eliminates the indirection in calls via keyset or via values. Note that the map implementation used must follow the map specification, otherwise this cleanup might break your code. In the Code Style tab, one new little thing is to use uppercase for long literal suffix. The option Simplify Lambda Expression and Method Reference Syntax removes unnecessary brackets and returns and replaces Lambda expressions with method references where possible. Speaking of Lambda expressions and method references, this can now be used in breakpoint conditions and in the expressions view. For example, this can be handy to stop at a breakpoint only when a given list contains a particular element. The same works also in the expression view. Have you noticed it? In the header of the console view, in addition to the start time, the end time is now displayed. Another small improvement is that the console option Interpret ASCII control characters now applies, in addition to backspaces and carriage returns, to form feeds and vertical tabs. Git support has been improved as well. When doing Compare With, Commit, in the dialog, the same search field as in the History view can be used to find the commit to compare with. In the Git Repositories view, in the Repository group, right-click menu has two additional items now. You can switch repositories to a same named branch at once and do a pull on each of the grouped repositories at once. The push and fetch items give the name of the remote instead of saying to or from upstreams. This is useful if you have more than one remote or when using more meaningful names for the remote than origin. Two branches or tags can be compared by selecting them, right-clicking and choosing Compare with each other. Here, and in the History view, when two commits are selected, you can now show the unified diff. This diff in the unified format can be saved via File, Save As. Hello Web Developer Eclipse is back 
Eclipse Wild Web Developer with state-of-the-art support for HTML, JavaScript, CSS and other common languages and formats used in web development can be installed via the Eclipse Marketplace. In case you don't use the Eclipse IDE for enterprise Java developers, which, as mentioned before, already includes it. By default, HTML files are opened with the old HTML editor. The old editor has to be used for JSP, but for plain HTML you can choose. By the way, drag and drop of text now also works in the old HTML and old XML editor. The new editor is implemented as a generic text editor extension. So right click and choose Open with Generic Text Editor to switch to the new HTML editor. The new editor supports CSS internal and external. Hold control while clicking to open the linked file. As for CSS, JavaScript, XML and JSON, you can choose between the old editor, which is used by default, and the generic text editor. In contrast to the old editor, the generic text editor also supports the stylesheet formats SAS, LESS, the JavaScript alternative TypeScript and frameworks like Angular, React and jQuery. This is implemented by so-called language servers. Some of them are taken from Visual Studio Code and those are written in TypeScript. That's why Node.js have to be installed to run them. In contrast, the language servers for the XML formats are written in Java, also being offered as an extension for Visual Studio Code. Language support via these language servers covers, for instance, syntax highlighting, code completion, Navigating, and finding references, without being confused by variables with the same name. These were some of the Java IDE improvements of the quarterly rolling release March 2020. If you've missed some versions, you might want to watch the previous videos too. Thanks for watching and happy coding!